Hello everyone and welcome to another vacuum cleaner unboxing. Well, today I'm going to be unboxing this Welco CV16 tub vacuum cleaner. Now, Welco is a brand of Connect Distribution who kindly sent me this model free of charge to unbox and demonstrate on my channel. The full demo will be coming up later, but today we're just going to unbox the machine, see all the parts, put it together and give it an initial first run. Right then, with my trusty scissors, I'll just carefully cut into the tape. And let's see what we've got. Now, first thing I can see is a metal telescopic extension wand. Now, this machine is designed to take pneumatic bags. This will take the same bags as the pneumatic Henry. It will also fit all the accessories and hose, all the cleaning tools that the pneumatic Henry takes. It should fit this Welco. But unlike the pneumatic Henry, this Welco has something that I've been wanting pneumatic to introduce for a long time. You have a telescopic extension tube. So that's the first thing. We've also got the instruction book it's a thousand watt and it's a 15 liter capacity. And as we can see, we have two spare bags which are very like the pneumatic bags. Now you can buy the genuine pneumatic bags, they will fit this, or you can buy the Welco branded ones. They're still a strong fleecy material. You can buy paper bags, maybe a little bit cheaper but it's always worth, in my opinion and experience, to go for the fabric bags because there's very little chance of these bursting. With the old paper bags, if you overfilled them, they could burst and create quite a mess for you to clean up. These are very similar to the Henry bags. They even have the little plastic flap that you can close over the cover. So when you take it out to empty it, or to replace it actually, just dispose of it, you can cover that and you're not getting dust and dirt flying everywhere. So there's two spare bags. I'm assuming there'll be one inside the cleaner. Here we have a curved handle piece with the suction control. So you open it to reduce the suction or keep it closed for the full suction. Next out is ooh, slightly different to the illustration on the box. This is the main carpet and floor nozzle. I've never seen anything like this before. I expect this is a newer design to take advantage of the energy saving features. It's a thousand watts this, so it is more energy, uh, it uses more energy than the Henry at 620 watts. So it might have a bit more suction, I'm not sure. This is quite a different sort of nozzle. It's all plastic base. You've got litter pickers. Looks like it would go up to the edge. Two small wheels, two larger wheels at the back. You've got a pedal and a brush at the front and a brush at the back. There's a little ticket on it. Ah, please remove the rubber fixture on the brush before usage. So, it's a good job that was there. There's two little rubber pieces here. So we need to take those out. I'm not sure what they're in there for. Possibly to, I don't know, protect it during transit. So you remove those first. So that's the main carpet and floor nozzle. We're we'll seeing how well that performs in my full demo. The other, other small cleaning tools should be in the box as well. Here we have the hose. It's 2.5 meters in length. Very like a Henry hose, same fittings. You've got the screw thread on this side and you've got the handle end this side. And oh, more cleaning tools. This one. Looks like it's a tool storage bracket, so you can actually store the three small cleaning tools on the handle of the machine, so they're always at hand, ready to use. So we have a slim crevice nozzle for all your nooks and crannies. 
an upholstery nozzle with a brush that slides off so you can use it without the brush or you can add the brush if you want the slides on again very similar to the pneumatic one and finally a soft dusting brush now time for the cleaner to come out let's move the box to one side I must say when I was carrying this upstairs the whole package did feel a lot lighter than the Henry. I'll put all the specifications of this cleaner underneath the video if you want to check out the weight and uh, the cable length which I believe is 10 meters but I'll put all those details underneath for you but if you've any questions please ask and I'll do my best to answer. So here we have it in black and red. Unlike Henry though we don't have the cord storage there's a little hook on the back, so I'm assuming that possibly is for the to store the cord. I'll have to check that in the instruction. Here's a swing ticket. So let's have a look at the energy label. So it gets a B for energy efficiency. It gets an F for dust emissions, an E for carpet cleaning performance, an A for hard floor cleaning performance, and the noise level is 79 decibels, so that's fairly quiet as far as vacuums go. The model number is WELCD16. So there we go. So here's the machine. Now, there's no wheels, obviously. I think they should be stored inside. Hopefully they are. Instead of having two fixed wheels at the back and two swivel casters at the front like a Henry, this has four swivel casters. You've got two metal hinges which we need to move in order to take the motor unit off. So there we have it, there's a motor unit. There's also a foam filter here which I assume we can take off for cleaning. That's your mains on switch at the front. Obviously there's the handle Here's the cloth filter. Ah, good. We've got the caster wheels. And here's a bag fitted into the tub. So let's put the wheels on. Should be just a case of pushing them in. And then we'll attach the hose and we'll give this cleaner a quick go. See how noisy it sounds. But I will of course be doing a full demo, I'll be testing this on carpets and hard floors, see how far it reaches up the stairs, etc. So there we go, I think they'll just push in, a bit of a twist as well. So it should be fairly manoeuvrable with four casters, and I expect it to be quite stable too, it doesn't seem as um, top heavy maybe as a, a pneumatic Henry. So that's that. Let's pop the filter back in and then the motor unit back on top. There's a couple of little blue pieces of cellophane on the hinge there. I'll remove those later. They're obviously just to protect the machine during transit. We've got a little bit of a Velcro fastening to keep the cable together as well as a normal cable tie but we won't be needing that that's just while it was being transported so yes it doesn't have the cable storage of a Henry but I assume that hook would be to loop the cable round I'll just check the instructions quite comprehensive instruction book we get so I've, I know nothing about this vacuum, so I'm learning as I'm opening it. So I think I've done everything correctly anyway. Yes, that filter I showed you that's under the motor is removable and you can rinse that. In fact, both filters can be cleaned um, under running warm water. Make sure they're dry. Um, the manufacturer recommending 24 hours until they're fully dried. There's also a list of part numbers for all the accessories and optional accessories you need. So 
I'm sure you can you can get those from the retailer you bought this from. So let me just check. H is the carry handle, and I is the locking clips. Just seeing what what this is. Oh, I'm assuming it is for the cable storage. It's uh doesn't really make it clear in the instructions that that is for the cable. Unless I'm reading it wrong, it's got the hose. Da -da -da -da. Can't no, can't see it. I'm just noticing amongst uh, all the optional accessories, there's a lot of optionals. Air freshener. Um, there's a whole complete tool kit. You can buy the complete tool kit. A mini tool brush kit. Dust master lint tool, flexible crevice tool, a mini turbo brush, a turbo floor tool, combi crevice dusting tool, hard floor tool. So plenty of accessories you can buy for this Welco vacuum vacuum cleaner. Now, let's pop the hose on. Just screws on like that. It's a very long hose. You need to attach, oops a daisy, attach the handle. And then the telescopic extension tube. Let's push it all together. Finally, the carpet and floor nozzle. Now it looks like there is a parking bracket on this, which is what this little slot is on the back of the cleaner. So that's what that's for, that holds it in place. And there's a little bit of an area here, I assume that is to hold a cleaning tool. That's not actually pictured in this uh, instruction book, so it's probably had a bit of a modification since the instruction book was printed. And it doesn't really fit on there, unless, well, yes that does. But we've got this little caddy here which will fit onto the, I've seen it on the handle, that's where it's illustrated anyway. So we can attach the caddy that should clip to the handle or do I might have to actually push it on I'm not sure by the time I make the demo video I'll have sat down read the instruction book so I'll be able to show you everything properly Anyway, that does fit on there. I've probably put it on the wrong side, actually. It's probably supposed to go up there, but I'm just doing it for speed. But small tools will fit on. So they're on the handle there. And then we should be able to put the telescopic tube back in and adjust it. Now, it goes very, very high, so if you're very tall, you will not be stooping with this vacuum. Of course, you can adjust it lower, or sort of midway, that's about comfortable for me. So, there we go. Let's give it, it is, it is much lighter than a Henry, definitely. Yep, yeah, so, without any further ado, let's plug it in and give it a first initial run. Okay then, so I've plugged in the Welco CV16 into a socket downstairs, yes, because it's got an extra long 10 metre cable, I can plug it in downstairs, but I've still got enough reach to clean my entire third floor. Also, the extra long 2.5 metre hose will ensure I can get into every corner of my rooms. In the demonstration, I'll be seeing how far the hose reaches up a standard flight of stairs. Obviously, it's not long enough to reach right to the top, but uh, in the demo, we'll see how far it will reach. I'm, I'm thinking possibly two thirds of the way. But tune in for the full demo coming up soon and all will be revealed. Okay, let's give this Welco a very brief, quick test. <laughs> Uh, 
first impressions, it is slightly noisier, I'd say, than a, a Henry type cleaner. Not as noisy as some, it's not too bad. Um, the nozzle, I'm not all that keen on, actually, on my particular carpet. It seems to be skipping a bit. Um, so I'm not really sure about that. Obviously, if this nozzle isn't satisfactory, you can easily put any other nozzle on that fits um, Henry's 32mm diameter fitting. I might try it actually with some other accessories just to prove that you can use Henry tools with it. I'll just give it one last go and uh, that'll be it for the initial unboxing. Well I know some of you like to see me picking up some dirt in my videos so despite the fact that this isn't the full demo, not just yet, I thought I'd leave you with a shot of dirt and we'll attempt to pick it all up using this Welco CB16. Okay then, here goes. Well, yep, seems to have picked everything up, so not too bad at all. Well, that's just about the end of my unboxing and first look at this Welco CV16 tub vacuum cleaner. Obviously, it's very early days. I can't judge it until I've given it my full demonstration tests, but on the small amount of dirt I put down, it picked everything up. It's very lightweight. It's got a nice long cable and a long hose, and uh, it seems quite powerful. I'll be giving you my full verdict, of course, in the demonstration video, which will follow soon. If you want to pick one of these up now, you can search online. I found it for around £70. Just search Google for Welco CV16 and you'll see the retailers that sell it. Some retailers are selling it for near £100, but there's no need to spend that much on this vacuum cleaner. And obviously, if you've got an old Henry or other pneumatic cleaner, you should find that all the tools for that fit this model. One thing I have noticed which is a little bit of a drawback in my opinion but again you can pick these attachments up very cheaply. It lacks the small adapter that you get with pneumatic cleaners to enable you to put any of the small accessories directly onto the end of the hose. So I was a little bit disappointed to see that that's not been included with this machine but you can pick those up on eBay for just a couple of pounds so it's not a deal breaker. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about this vacuum cleaner, please ask in the comments section below. And if I can't answer it, I'll contact the people at Connect Distribution who should have the answers for you. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.